Kibo, what's up? What's up, Timo? Mm-hmm. This is your boy Kelvin Advice. Mm-hmm. But my advice, they come from the scriptures. So, the word of God. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at a scripture here in First Samuel chapter 1. We all know the story. But I just want to read two verses. It says, and he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah and the name of the other uh, Penina and had children. But Hannah had no children. And then verse 3, the Bible says, And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. Now this is what I want to bring across. We know that Hannah was a barren woman. But for her to be a prayerful woman, it began by her husband Elkanah being a worshiper. Now in verse 3, the Bible says, This man went out yearly to sacrifice and to worship. So for Hannah to be a prayerful woman, it began by the man being a worshiper. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now. Mm-hmm. Men, we need to take leadership, especially in the priesthood of God. Amen. That's how the ladies will look at a man and they will say, I want to be with they will not be attracted by what they see outside, but they will be attracted by what they see inside. And what they see inside is the leadership that comes from the throne of God. Are you a leader this, this afternoon? I don't know, but Timo here who is shooting the camera, I believe that Timo is a leader. Are you a leader, Timo? You should be, bro. Because leadership at times, yes, it requires for you to know your identity. But I like this story. This woman was a prayerful woman, but it began by her husband being a worshiper. Men, we need to worship. Men, we need to pray. Not to be a prey for the enemy, but to pray that God may devour the enemy for us. Until next time, this is your boy Kev. Cheers.